My name is Teresa Koblack and I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to paint a underwater scene. So this is just going to be a really fast demo and um, first thing you want to do is make sure you have a clean tile. I got a little ink on my gloves, that's just fine. And I will put the colors that I use in the description box below. I like just squirting a variety of ink on and then just take and kind of rub it with your fingers that have gloves and then just give it a little alcohol and give it a little tip. And so what I'm trying to do is make it look like the sky is coming in and so you can see the light from above and it's still wet and that is fine. That's how I want it. We're going to go ahead and do the foreground a little bit. Like I said, this is just a quick, fast, easy way to do a underwater ocean scene. You can see my colors are still wet. That's fine. It'll move and it looks like I have some coral growing there. And I'm just dipping into a little alcohol. I do use the 99% alcohol. I do use some blending solution, but mostly the alcohol. And I also work out these little trays. It's a little ceramic tray that I'm using. And what's nice about these is you can take and put some ink in it and use it as you, when you're done for the day using it, you can take and just let it dry and it'll be fine when you come back to use it. Take a little bit of alcohol and it'll liven it right back up. So I want this just to look a little more flowy through here. So I'm just going to do this and tip it just because I want this to look like it's further back. There we go. And we'll go ahead and do a coral right about here. I'm just dipping that into my tray. Add a little bit more ink. And we'll have it so our coral is wanting to climb up towards the light. And we'll have him a little friend right here. So I have a friend named Miriam, and she is a YouTuber also. I've known Miriam for a long time, and um, one of the things that she always loves to see of mine is my underwater scenes. So I told her I'd paint one just for her. If you haven't seen her channel, it's Miriam's Nature. And uh, she's a real smart lady. You might like to check her out. 
I'll definitely leave a link below for you. This red poppy that I'm using works out great. I do recommend looking at some photos of different coral underwater um, photos and then you can see how the coral grows. I was lucky enough to have a couple of saltwater tanks and when I moved I took them down and haven't set them back up yet so I haven't decided what kind of fish I'm going to get I've always had a love of the ocean kind of funny I live in Michigan and love the ocean So we're just kind of bringing some little branches off on our coral. Adding a little more color in there. And then down here, we're going to go ahead and build him right in. This is my fan brush that I'm using. Love using a fan brush. I just want to make it look like our coral is growing there. Different highlights. I'm just have a little bit of alcohol on my brush. Kind of bring it over. Want a little more highlights on my coral there. Fan brush works great for that. And maybe we'll put somebody else growing in the background here. Just kind of play with your painting and see where it takes you. I'm going to add a few accents to this purple. This is a Sharpie pen that I'm using. It's called a Sharpie brush tip. Works great. If you'd like to see some of my other paintings, you're welcome to follow me on Instagram or Facebook under Teresa Kovlak. And you can see I have a wide variety of paintings on there. You're welcome to leave me questions down below and I will get to them. I'm just kind of back adding a little bit of colors, a little bit of accent. I do wipe off my marker because it's picking up the ink colors. Those are lots of fun to use, so 
definitely pick yourself up a set of those. And let's go ahead and put in a starfish. And we'll put him, put him about right here. So he doesn't have to be perfect. Remember he's just climbing through. So I took and I put the orange on first. Come back with the paintbrush. Just kind of pulling out a little bit of that color. Otherwise you can take a Q-tip and wipe out the starfish shape. And then just bring in the orange. Either way works good. Sometimes I'll even just use my Sharpie to bring him over. So he's just kind of climbing up there. We could do one more. Maybe over here. Kind of climbing up. He used to have some beautiful starfish. He even had a blue starfish. So remember, he's just kind of climbing through the water. He doesn't have to be perfect because he's just climbing along the ground. Just doing his thing. So in this area here, I can either add more coral, I could add a seahorse, but I wanted to make this video short, so I was just wanting to show you how to do the underwater. Maybe on the next video we'll work on a, another seahorse, but if you do scroll down a little bit, You'll see I do have a seahorse painting on there. And I will probably work on this one for a while and just keep adding different things. I definitely hope you give it a try. It's a lot of fun. And um, I think you might enjoy it. So hopefully this was a fun and easy way to do an underwater scene for you. And again, my name is Teresa Kovlek, and thanks for joining me, and happy painting.